You, it was a beautiful warm week out there. Is it going to last into this weekend? Yeah, we had some record breaking heat earlier this week. Our inland location still fairly toasty today, at least this afternoon. Bradley actually hit 89 degrees wow. today, but a little different from that 91 they were experiencing yesterday. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of your daytime highs out there. Again, Bradley 89, 87 for Pinnacles National Park, Hollister at 80, 67 for Salinas. And then of course, as you got closer to the coast, we still continue to see those cooler temperatures, those low 60s, upper 50s for Monterey and mid 50s for Pacific Grove. You just cannot warm up these last couple of days. That's all thanks to those low clouds hanging out in our area. But many of our coastal locations actually warmed up a few degrees today just because we did see some afternoon sunshine. Those low clouds did break a bit compared to the last two days. Uh, that ridge of high pressure giving us those toasty temperatures inland, but that is going to start to move off to the east of us. And it is going to be replaced by a system moving into our area on Sunday. As that ridge of high pressure moves away from our area, we're actually going to see our inland temperatures cool down a bit tomorrow. That cooling trend will continue through the weekend into Monday and Monday is when we'll really notice that cool down for our inland spots. Coastal areas will actually warm up a degree or two tomorrow because we're going to see more sunshine. A little confusing, I know. But let's talk about this system here because the chances of it bringing some rain are very likely. So some good news there. We do have two bands. So the first band is actually the front that will be moving through our area. Area. And what's a little different about this system is it's actually staying more toward the south. So the Santa Lucia range has a better chance of seeing those showers. And then we'll have a little break. And as we head into Monday, we'll see that break early Monday morning. And that will actually lead us into the actual low that will push through the our area. And as this low pushes through, we're actually going to see rain throughout most of the day on Monday. But then what we also have the chance of seeing is some instability with this low push through, which means we could get the chance of some thunderstorms out there Monday afternoon. So I'm talking maybe some small amounts of hail in some locations. I think the better chance of this is actually going to be in Monterey County, southern Monterey County. And then this low will continue to track to the east and we will clear out and dry out for the rest of the week. Some uh, wind though as the system pushes through our area, so we will have very windy conditions Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. Then we will calm down a little bit. Sunday night into Monday, but then we'll have another round of windy conditions with the system that low pushing through. Rainfall totals so far, and I would say this is looking pretty accurate for the Santa Lucia range. We're talking a couple inches for the Santa Lucia range. Normally we see some good rainfall total up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I do think we could still see some good uh, precip totals up there as well. But look at that, not too bad. This is probably going to be one of the wettest systems that we have seen so far this year. And considering it's been a dry winter, we will take it. Here's a look at what we're seeing though out there. We're going to continue to see those high clouds, low clouds will push in around uh, the southern portions of the bay tomorrow morning, but then they will clear out. We'll see mostly sunny skies around our coastal areas and for most of our inland spots. Again, we will continue to see some of those high clouds out there tomorrow afternoon. We will actually clear out a bit. Those low clouds will once again return, but then we will see those clouds increase as that system pushes through our area. Again, that first wave will show up around late uh, Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. So do expect those clouds to increase on Sunday. Start your weekend off though, Saturday not looking too bad. Of course, like I mentioned, our coastal areas will warm up a bit. 68 for Santa Cruz will be in those mid, seven, mid 70s for the Santa Cruz Mountains. As we head down the coast, uh, we will start to see those temperatures uh, in those mid to upper 60s as well. A little bit cooler in southern portions of the bay, 61 for Marina, 67 for Salinas. And our inland spots still in those 70s, 75 for Hollister. Monterey Peninsula is still going to be one of the cooler spots tomorrow. 59 for Pacific Grove, 62 for Monterey. Up and down the Salinas Valley, we're still going to see some 80s out there. 84 for Bradley, 79 for King City, and we will be in well, mostly the 7 territory, 70 territory range, I should say, for the Salinas Valley. 70 for Big Sur. Overnight lows are going to be pretty mild. Expect mostly widespread 40s. Here's what you can expect for the next 7 days. Again, 
we are watching that system late Sunday into Monday and then we will clear out and see mostly sunny skies. Temperatures really not budging much. We'll hang out in those low to mid 60s around the coast. Inland uh, again, we're going to see those temperatures really fall by Monday as that system pushes through, but then we will dry out and start to warm back up into the 70s by next Friday.